drew at Chelsea for Tuesday's defeat by Juventus. Jose Mourinho makes just the one change today. David De Gea has played every game in the domestic league and in Europe. While ahead of him, this has been Mourinho's preferred back four since he took Eric Bailly out of the team following the Newcastle game. Chris Smalling today plays his 300th match for the club. Meanwhile, Fred, who hasn't started for United since scoring his only goal for them in the draw against Wolves, makes his return. That means no Romelu Lukaku, who is suffering a crisis of confidence in front of goal, though like him, Marcus Rashford has yet to score here this season. Lukaku will have to be called on from the bench if he's to face his former team. Alexis Sanchez is available after injury, and Marcus Rojo returns to the 18. Even though it was a substitution that won the day for Marco Silva against Crystal Palace, he reverts to the Everton starting 11 for that win, which saw Jordan Pickford save a penalty at 0-0. Michael Keane makes a return to Old Trafford, looking settled in a partnership with Kurt Zuma that's delaying Yeri Mina's debut. But the other recruit from Barcelona, Andre Gomez, retains his place in the team after an impressive start. Gilfie Sigurdsson has an impressive scoring record here, having struck three times in his Swansea days while Richarlison reaches a half-century of appearances in his time in English club football. So Calvert-Lewin, Tosson and Lookman, who all had positive effects from the bench last time out, start there again today. led to the removal of the man that you would most often expect to be their scorer in Romelu. Walcott. Bernard trying to keep it alive here for Everton and he has. Richardson going down claiming a push. It was a, a very theatrical foot. Lindelof coming off the back of his best game for United against Juventus in the week. Just see there the back poles. He does well Luke short. Well, certainly. Well, Lindelof Defended the first cross well and then Shaw did well at the back post. He got his body in. Out of the team, so he's gone into that near post zone with Rashford. Gomez with a header. Straight after here, but Luke Shaw nowhere near him. Gomez, big chance. A warning there for United. Well, he's watching the matchups before, and it was Luke Shaw who started with him. Just look at that there, and then he just gets under it. Here's Idris again. Smalling stepped in well there against Richardson. Thought he had the free kick's been given. So, honestly, I thought it looked like he just stepped in front and it was good defending, but maybe kicked him on the way through. Yeah. Wasn't book for it. Bumpers now with Torn. Martial clips it across. Matter! Too near to his feet and takes the pace off the ball and makes it comfortable for the goalkeeper. Not a problem to pick. Well, he's concentrating so much one matter on keeping it down. He heads it into the ground. Smalling through to Marcus Rashford, who's caught by Zuma. Now Martial. Tests Pickford. Or difficult for Pickford. Try to play the round guy who is fairly deliberate in his intention to stop him, so he's now shown a yellow card. He yeah, doesn't even turn around, he knows it's coming. Marcial. Very stuck out of leg and concedes the penalty. A war of nerves with Pickford. And he misses, but he's put it in from the post. Hand to it. As it just puts it right back into the path of Pogba, who's good fortune, and he just kept going and going with that stuttering run up, and it was building the tension and anxiety. Pickford gets a strong, is that I've never seen a player not booed on the way up for a penalty, but certainly there were groans from the Manchester United fans saying, just run up and take it. 
Did Pickford get a touch? <laughs> he did. <laughs> what I would say, create something in the ground. It's not working for Paul Pogba. Well played in by Walcott. It was a teasing ball, but nobody on the end of it. Allison is just a little bit far away from last line and where Chris Smalling was to get near it. Pogba! Rashford! Offside! And the big threat to Everton. It was that Seamus Coleman. And whoever was up on that side against him need to get back Theo Walker. And the game's revolving around Marcel at this moment in time. He's the big threat for United. To play in Seamus Coleman. Sigurdsson! Straight at the head. Good strength in midfield from Sigurdsson to initially hold off Matic and he makes that run that he always will and he finds him this time. And he's a long way out and there wasn't really enough pace on the ball for him to be able to trouble David De Gea but it was good from Everton. Oh. It's Fred. It's he who played in Walcott to have a go from the angle. He's furious in the middle of Charles and he should be. Just see the back post. Theo Walcott has to go across David De Gea. It's a really good play from Everton. Here's Sigurdsson trying to play Walcott in. He goes for goal, but couldn't really connect as cleanly with it as he wants. Just has to set it out outside the post into the far corner. A scruffy finish in the end. It's a good pass. He has Lindelof exactly where he wants it. Pogba, will he hit it first time? No. Martial can hit them with the... Oh, what a goal! Oh, you can see that bending in from the moment. It we to Martial, a good little ball from Pogba. He's almost laid it into him, saying, just walk on to... Well, this is what we've come to expect over the last few... That is a magnificent finish. Manchester United 2, Everton 0. Left his foot, perfectly teed up. Anthony Martial's purple patch continues in front of the Stratford end. Goals. Rashford, the flag stays down. One on one with Pickford, England colleagues. Pickford wins the day. Rashford again. Well, it's not like him because he's. Match up allows that one to go. It's perhaps just a little bit too far in front of him. He had Fred alongside him as well, but Everton escaped. Piece of form from him, and Richarlison sent it through towards Bernard, and the flag stays down. What a chance! Side netting. Lovely bit of skill. Plays it through. He's onside there. Ashley Young's needless to say, this is a massive chance. It was incredibly tight. You'll see it here. Sigurdsson, I think it is, who makes the part. And the Everton fans are hearing it from the Manchester United fans because away in, in the corner to our right, they thought that was in. Romney. Now Coleman, no flag. And it goes, the header. There's a looping one, no great pass season or so. Matter. Paul Pogba, he's in, right foot it, saved again by Pickford, and it's away for a corner. And Manchester, and a brilliant save, low down. That is a, on the save, ometer. That's up there. Watch how quick he gets Dash United. Oh, Perry. Great move. Great touch. He made the break. Coleman's in. Fed by Richarlison and sends it over the crossbar. Well, they've had two. Gallo got the touch. Oh, yeah. De Gea. Yeah. I don't know if De Gea got a touch on this, but Martial coming back. I don't know whether it might have been Martial. Excellent opportunity since going 2-0 down. And taking neither of them. Well, I think they're asking for a corner. Sends it through, looking... Sorry, that's Richardson in the penalty area. John Moss says penalty. Guilty Sigurdsson against David De Gea. Steps up. He makes absolutely no mistake. That's towards the goal and try and get the block, as I said. He's got a tight angle. Richarlison as well. Pride as well because trying to make up for that mistake by Pogba and no need. Just run. And they're back in at a 2 1. He's hurt himself small in that challenge as well. He's limping back. It's a fabulous penalty by the Iceland international. 
All eyes on Paul Pogba after that mistake. Smalling with the foul.